Pressure gauge. Gorge on AFL fucking plays. Let's go through them. Clayton Oliver. As high as high can be. This man is under the pump. He's still in the news. I feel sorry for him. Lockie Neal. Look, I would actually put this pressure maybe a bit more there. Considering Brisbane are in their premiership window. And he's going to feel pressure to perform to win them that flag that they've been trying to get. Ollie Wines. I think the pressure's more over here. I wouldn't expect him to have a bounce back season. Butters and Rosie and Jason Horn Francis are the new midfield. Boak, Ollie Wines, you know, those older players. You know, Ollie Wines isn't as old, but I understand why people think there's a lot of pressure on him. But I just don't see it that high considering my expectations for him aren't going to be high in 2024. This guy, I think being a captain, there needs to be a bit more pressure on him. Try to get Adelaide to the finals. Well, they should have made it last year, but, you know, the Swans fucking paid the umpires, the goal umpires. Uh, put this more here. And then lastly, Sam Walsh. I think Sam Walsh is a bit more here. Uh, reason being, he showed so much potential in the final series. If he just gets his body right, the only reason the pressure is there, that's pressure on him to keep his body right, you know? Because if he stays fit, this guy could win the Brownlow. Wallah, I swear to God, he's that good. But he's just injuries, bit of a problem.